Hey guys, I'm going to make a little video for you guys on my, uh, my foundry furnace. I get a lot of questions from you guys regarding it and um, I'm just going to go ahead and make a, a, a video. It might turn into uh, a multi-part series, I'm not sure yet, we'll see how it goes, but uh, I get so many questions about it. Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and walk you guys through the way that I came up with the, my blast furnace. It might not be exactly the right way to do things, but it works for me, and um, you know, if you guys are interested, this is how I do it. Now, you have to first, when you want to start, uh, you know, doing things like that, you want to start melting metal, and you want to have a foundry, and you want to cast parts, you have to first ask yourself, what kind of parts am I going to cast primarily? Because that's going to dictate what size furnace you, you eventually build. I built a really big furnace because I didn't want to limit myself um, as to you know really small parts. But if that's all you're going to be casting, it kind of makes sense to go with a smaller furnace than a bigger furnace because it takes a lot of energy, a lot of propane, um, and a lot of time to heat up the furnace, even if I want to cast a small part. Um, so I am going to be building a smaller one, and I'm going to make a video series about that. Um, but that's another video for another time. So again, first ask yourself what kind of parts you're going to be casting. If you're going to be casting small parts, maybe like, you know, jewelry or parts for, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, accessories for your, your bike or whatever the case may be. Think about that and then after that, come up with a, a, a furnace design that's going to suit your needs. Uh, a lot of people use um, old LP tanks, propane tanks, barbecue tanks, 20, 20 pound uh, LP tanks, and they have very good luck with them. They're, they're small enough, yet they're big enough to get a, a pretty good size um, crucible in, and uh, they seem to be pretty efficient. But um, So like I said, I went ahead and made a really big furnace, and uh, let me show you how. Um, so the first thing that I did was I came up with, I figured out what kind of parts I was going to cast, and I kind of went from mild to wild, and figured out what size furnace I was going to need, and then I kind of came up with the burner to go along with that. So, this is my real burner, and uh, I'm going to put a parts description down below, so you guys can uh, get it, you know, you don't have to write this down, I'll, I'll write it down for you. The main body of the burner is a one foot long, one inch diameter steel tube. They sell these at Lowe's and they're the black ones. You don't want to use any galvanized steel for this. You want to use the black one, uh, the black steel pipe. And uh, it comes pre-threaded. It's already cut to length. You're also going to need two of these uh, reducers, one inch to one and a half inch uh, bell reducer. Okay, and that's just going to screw on one end of the pipe, and that's just going to stay with with nothing on it. This is going to be the the flame end or the feather end. Then <coughs> on the other one, you're going. This is going to be our propane delivery system. Okay, and essentially what what I did here was I just drilled a hole in it here behind the band. Okay and just put a half inch piece of uh, steel tube in there okay and welded it in now this is the nozzle this is where the the propane is going to be coming out of and you can see the hole in there that's a forty thousandths hole i used the number sixty drill bit okay and i i put the pipe in there and again just weld around where i had drilled the hole and that holds it in place cap the one end and then on the other side you're gonna have to come up with a way to get your propane in there now this is my set of fittings that I used here this is just basically uh, a half inch coupler to um, I came out with a brass uh, it's a reducer half inch to I think three quarter it's th it says three eighths um, <clears throat> to my gate valve Okay, and then on this side, I had, a, I had to put a fitting in, and it's a steel fitting, 
uh, and this is the part, this is actually a part off of a old uh, leaf torch um, from Harbor Freight. So basically you just have to kind of figure out how you can get, it's not going to be the same for everyone. You just essentially have to figure out how you're going to get that propane um, with an inline valve to that nozzle. So, like I said, I had to weld here. Pretty much everyone that I've ever seen, there's never really any good fitting. Unless you buy a, um, a high pressure regulator, a high pressure regulator setup, you, you might be able to just go and uh, have it all done. This is my design, and it's because I kind of just use things that I have in my shop. I don't have the kind of dough to just go out and buy a high pressure regulator setup. Um, I'm trying to, you know, I try to keep my overhead low, and of course, I, I know it's the same for everybody. Nobody likes to spend a lot of money, especially on a hobby. So, again, I just kind of use what I got, and that's that works for me. So you guys might have stuff laying around that you can, you know, make that all happen. Now, I also made a little carburetor on the back of this, um, and I find it works good for me. So what I did was I just welded a nut up here on top and then just made a little pl plate out of uh, plate out of plate steel and welded a a bolt onto there and that just basically threads in and um, you know depending on how close I I screw it in you know it limits how much air gets sucked into the uh, reducer and uh, I also put a bolt on the other side To kind of, um, I put a bolt on this side because I, I sometimes I like to have it locked up in place, so it'll stay up there like that. So, and then this just goes and threads on the other end of the pipe. And that's it, guys, right there. So let's go ahead and uh, light the torch. Right there, that's a lit torch. And you can tell because there's a, uh, a real bright blue cone in the center with a, with a feather uh, coming out around it. And uh, we can go ahead and turn it up a little bit. And that's your, that's your real burner right there.